So after an incredibly long down the road, we end up at uh, Star Wars, waking in the morning to this beautiful day and decided I was going to make some coffee and uh, a couple of uh, hot cross buns and Sally was uh, off and she went for a little run, well not quite little but uh, over this spectacular surroundings, I mean it's absolutely awesome. It actually looks a little bit like a, 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 a different planet with all these uh, rock formations and how they set up this campsite is quite amazing. Um, they've really done a good job. But the, uh, the scenery here is absolutely beautiful. Sunrise was spectacular and uh, we hung around there a little bit after Sally got back from a run and uh, had a little bit brekky and then uh, decided it was time to uh, pack up and, uh, and head off. Uh, we were on our way to Honokla Bay to the start of our adventure down the west coast. Uh, but uh, yeah, like always, some things don't uh, always go to plan and uh, yeah, see what happens. Okay guys, so let's just fill you in with what's happened today. It's a, quite an uneventful day or an eventful day, whichever way you want to look at it. So we had a little bit of a hassle with the landy, something either to do with the clutch or the fifth gear or something, but we were decided not to take a chance, so we've turned back and uh, we're going to try and uh, get to Cape Town on the on Monday and then see if we can get it all sorted out there on, on Tuesday because it's a long weekend so hopefully Tuesday we can get it sorted out and then uh, we'll continue with our trip Obviously, we, we were wanting to go from Honokla Bay to Paternoster, but obviously now that's out of the question. So possibly once the landy has been sorted, um, we will then go straight there to Paternoster and then sort of work our way up and see how far we get with the time that we have remaining. But needless to say, it's the way things go, so we're not stressed at all. So on our way back, we are stopped off at a place which I'm, I'm not quite sure what the name is. So it's kind of near Strandfontein. Um, it's a wild campsite, um, which means it's not a, obviously, it's not a designated campsite. So we found this perfect spot on the beach and uh, we're going to spend the night here, maybe two nights, we're not quite sure, just to see how it goes. Find a really cool spot. There are other people camping around, but it's, it's amazing. So we've decided to, yeah, to spend some time here. A beautiful evening. I'm going to send up the drone a little bit later, just to show you a little bit what it looks like from the air. But uh, check this out, man. So yeah, we're right on the beach here. Um, taking a little bit of a chop on, on the rocks to go to the water. But uh, yeah, can't really ask for a better place to, to hold up. So yeah, it was a little bit uh, disappointing earlier in the day. But uh, yeah, we had to make the call and uh, now that the call has been made uh, we're not too, not too stressed about it um, just it is what it is so we're going to enjoy ourselves down here and uh, if we stop talking and uh, just show you 
this amazing view. Okay, guys, so we're back. We're back. So after the last video, um, we had a little, a little bit of um, trouble with the landy and uh, headed straight back to Cape Town just to get it sorted. And uh, a huge shout out to um, Wayne and his team from uh, Landy Guru who uh, helped us out solidly and got us back on the road. So we left yesterday from Cape Town, drove all the way up to Namakwa National Park to Kurankoro Bay or Kurankoro Bay. Um, and it was such an awesome evening when we arrived last night that uh, we didn't <laughs> do any video because it was so amazing. Then woke up early this morning and uh, it was again an awesome, uh, awesome morning. So we spent the morning just chilling on the rocks and uh, so yeah, now it's time for the video. So yeah, all that's behind us and we're on this incredible trip. So I want to show you um, where we are because it's absolutely amazing um, I've always uh, wanted to come here I've always known this has been an awesome uh, beautiful place to visit um, the last time I was on the west coast was about well, 18 years ago maybe um, with my son and we got as far as uh, Lambert's Bay and then went back home so we are now a lot further north so let me just show you what we are seeing today. So yeah, look at this flippin' amazing spot, man. I mean, you just can't conceive how beautiful this place is. I'm sure the camera has got no, does no justice to this. But I mean, check this out. We're alone here. Um, there's a couple of campsites here, but uh, we're the only ones here, which is exactly what we want. Um, 
But yeah, it would be awesome if we could fly the drone, but unfortunately it's, it's uh, not possible because it's a uh, reserve. But check this out. So we're spending about two nights here. Um, I think later on this morning we're going to go and walk. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to be spending about two nights here. Um, later on we're going to go and walk along that, uh, that beach there to that point. So we'll uh, definitely take you along with us. But let me show you some of the stuff that uh, is around here. Morning everybody, well it's, uh, it's day two of this epic journey, uh, yesterday started out as an absolutely awesome day, we went for an awesome hike up the coast, just go and have a look at some of the other camps and then by the time we got back uh, a massive uh, mist uh, came over and then basically clouded everything out. Went for another walk along the beach, took some epic photos, but today seems like another awesome day. Uh, sun's coming up, nice early morning. Fluff and chilly in the mornings here. Um, that's wow, man. This place is absolutely spectacular. Uh, you, just, you just can't describe what, uh, what you can see here. So I want to show you the sea's a little bit angrier today, which is amazing. Uh, we heard it last night uh, in the tent just crashing up against these rocks. So I'm going to show you some of the um, some of the wave action here. And again just how beautiful this spot is. Let's have a look. There's some big swirls coming through. Um, yesterday they were quite gentle. The sea was quite calm, but you can see there's massive, there's a massive swirl coming through here. It's just an absolutely amazing. I mean, check out some of the size of these waves, man. <laughs> How radical is this? Absolutely deafening, man. And then there's the sunrise again. Unreal. You can see there's still some mist around. And then uh, last night we had another another Land Rover arrive in the campsite. So hopefully we're going to pop in and say hello later. 